Did you know that you can transfer any buttercream design you want onto a cake just using acetate? Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do it. You can do this technique with any design you want, but today we're gonna to be doing cute hearts for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to check out my other V-Day videos in the description box below. While you're there, subscribe to my channel and let's get to the tutorial. So we're going to try an acetate transfer for this cake. We had one other version of it before, but it did not work out, so let's try this. I'm going to pipe some pink hearts directly onto the acetate, and I know kind of the general height of the cake, so I'm not gonna go above that. So I'm just gonna do kind of two lobes and try and make it nice and pointy at the bottom. So I'm just making them face kind of like different directions so it's a little bit more fun. So we'll just pop this into the freezer for maybe five minutes, 10 minutes max, and uh, then we can fill it all in with white buttercream and attempt to put it on the cake. So I've got some white buttercream and my Ateco number no. six tip. And all I'm gonna do is fill around all these hearts and then we're going to fill the whole thing with white buttercream. So just try and get right into the corners. Um, this is just to prevent it from getting any air bubbles. So we're just trying to like fill in all those gaps. And we should be able to fix air bubbles if they arise, but this just makes our lives a bit easier. We want this to be, the hearts to be nice and chilled, otherwise we're gonna start this with a soft heart. Um, it would definitely start smudging all over the place. Now I take my white buttercream and just start filling in the rest of it. And don't be worried about going over the edges, that is fine. So yeah, I'm adding quite a thick layer of buttercream um, just because it's gonna be much easier when we're adding it onto the cake if it's thicker rather than thinner. So now I'm just flattening it as best I can. Just making sure it's as even as possible so that it's easier to apply to the cake. I'm just gonna look at the width too. So it's probably about a centimeter of buttercream. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna take a peek. Looks pretty cute. We can fill in some gaps later. So grab your acetate from the top two corners and peel it off. Now just apply it directly to your cake. get a little messy, that's fine. And then we can, as soon as this is chilled, fill in any gaps we have, but I think it will work out well. Try and close it as best you can. I'm just gonna add a little bit more buttercream in the little gap here. And then let's pop this in the freezer for like 10 minutes. The cake is very nice and chilled now, so we can just remove the acetate. It should come off quite easily. And what I wanna do now is just fill in any little gaps of buttercream before we go ahead and scrape everything. So I just have my white buttercream here, and I'll just go ahead and fill that in, any like kind of glaring gaps of buttercream around the hearts. Again, this will just make it easier when we go to scrape. We're not gonna have to continually scrape in order to get that even layer. And any other gaps you see, you can fill those in too. So what I'm gonna do now is just do a rough scrape around. Just to remove the excess buttercream. Then we're gonna be ready to scrape as soon as we chill this one more time. So I'm just scraping back and forth to make sure that all those bubbles are being filled in. Oh, 
All right. Just gonna pop this in the freezer for like two minutes and then we're ready to go. First, I'm going to remove this top edge of buttercream just because it's a lot. Then we're gonna scrape right after this. And you could, at this point, do another transfer on top with acetate or parchment or whatever um, if you wanted more hearts, but I'm actually just gonna fill it in with white. Okay, so we've made it all the way. Let's remove all the extra buttercream here. And then I'm gonna fill that in just on the top edge to make sure we can get a really nice smooth edge on the top. Now let's go ahead and reveal our heart pattern. So actually let me clean this up so it's not too much buttercream. Then we can scrape. Make sure to put this in a separate container because it is going to have some pink on it. Just continue scraping until your hearts look really nice and clean and there's no more white buttercream left on top of them. So when you're close to the end, it is going to start smudging. So just do one kind of little section at a time and add really nice and firm pressure. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the top edge one more time. Just a little bit. Oh, mine is not cold. <laughs> Thought it would be chilled. Then we'll do one final scrape after it has just a minute to chill down again. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other Valentine's Day tutorials in the description box below. And if you do make any of them, tag me on Instagram at findsfuncakes with two S's. Don't forget to grab all of the tools, equipment, and everything you'll need to make this in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel while you are there, and I will see you next time.